This is a Permobil C400 ESP power chair. This Permobil C400 is a little bit smaller than the C500 and uh, maybe a little bit bigger than the C300. So it's in between the two of them. So if you want a power chair, it's a little bit smaller, more maneuverable. Uh, it's still a fairly good sized chair, but the, uh, it's a little bit smaller. So this is the Permobil C400 ESP power chair. Uh, that's enhanced suspension uh, on this chair. Now, this chair has everything. It has the 8-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric legs. It also has a tray. So this tray right here is adjustable. It can be flipped down and it can be removed. It also has a, car a carrying bag in the back with all the manuals and all the tools for the chair right here. Everything is in here. This chair is three, four years old, but it only has 12 miles, so it's practically new. 12 miles is less than a month, so it does have all kinds of other features. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the backpack that comes with this chair, and I'm going to remove the tray, and this tray, as I said, is adjustable. You can tilt it back and forth, and you have a lip back here, so if you put your newspaper here, it will not come off the bottom. So the tray comes with it. The first thing we're going to cover is, is the electric seat lift. So you can work all the function through the joystick or through the switch box over here. But I'm going to do it through the switch box. It's quicker for me. So I'm going to turn the chair around. I'm going to bring it this way. Now the switch box can also be put behind the joystick. Some people like it here. Some people like it behind the joystick. We can arrange that. If you're right-handed or left-handed, we can switch the joystick from this side to that side. No problem at all. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do the electric seat lift. So this would be your 8 inch electric seat lift. Now this chair will still drive when the seat is elevated, but it will drive at a slower speed. So as you can see, it will still drive but at a slower speed. So now this is your 8 inch seat lift. Let's talk about the base. We've got 12 inch solid non-skid tires right here. We've got a great suspension like all Permobil. This is a suspension right here. You've also got two batteries in this chair. The batteries are here. There's one here and there's one on the opposite side. They come out by lowering this door down by lifting the shroud up. So there's two batteries. So you've, got the, uh, you've also got a power button right here, so if you need to turn the power on or off, there's a switch right here, and I just turned it off. It's right over here. So when we shift this chair, we'll have this on the off position. If you bring it back here, it's back on the on position. So this is your 8-inch seat lift right there. The next feature we're going to cover is the electric tilt. So this would be your, your electric tilt. I'm going to do the legs also with this one at the same time. So now we've got the tilt going back. I'm hitting two buttons. So you've got the legs going up and the tilt's going back. So if you want to raise your leg higher than your body, if you need circulation, this would be a good way to do it. You don't have to go this high, but I'm going to go as high as it'll go. So this is your full, this is considered a full electric tilt. Now the legs did come down, but they, they're adjustable and they're electric. We can make this any length that you want, depending on your height and weight, and what you need. So these are the electric legs. So if you needed, uh, you needed some circulation, this would be a good way to do it. So that's your electric legs and your electric tilt. I'm going to bring the tilt back. I'm going to leave the legs up a little bit, and then we're going to do the recline. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start with the recline now. Well, let me bring it back down, and we'll do the recline so you can fully see how it works. So you can do a combination of the recline, the tilt, the leg. You can do any combination, any position you want with this chair. That's what's nice about these Permobil. They're, they're built for comfort. They're built for you to be in it all day long. So this is the electric recline right here going back. Now these arms are, you can move them out of the way. So if you can transfer, if you need to transfer from the side, you can move the arm, both arms out of the way with no problem. So this is a full recline. What I mean by a full recline is the seat is almost flat to the cushion. So that's a full recline. There's no gap here and all that. Now if I bring the legs back up again, if I go and hit the button the right way. So now you would, if you want to lay flat, 
with your legs up, this is what you're looking at. I don't know if you can still tilt the seat. No, you can't tilt the seat anymore. So you can only tilt it uh, once the recline is back up. So this is your full recline with your electric uh, legs. I didn't mention this earlier, but they are batteries on both sides, but what I did not mention is this chair will take 75 amp batteries. So if you're looking for a chair with long distance on your battery, you want to go a long ways. Uh, this chair will take the largest batteries you can put in permobil, which is 75 amps. This will give you 15 miles plus easily, maybe 20, but the manual says 15. But with 75 amp batteries in here, this chair with, for this size will give you more distance than a C300. Uh, or a C500 because a C500 is heavier even though it takes the same batteries this chair is a little lighter so this chair weighs about a little less than 400 pounds it takes 75 amp battery it takes two of them one on each side so also with this chair this is considered a front wheel drive chair front wheel drive means you've got your mo you've got your your drive wheels towards the front. If you have your drive wheels in the middle, then you'll have wheels in front of there and wheels in the back. There's no wheels in front of this chair. There's no tip wheels because this chair will not tip forward because all the weight of the batteries are back here and it's keeping it on its back. So the nice thing about the front wheel drive chairs, if you're going to go outside with a front wheel drive chair, the chair weighs 400 pounds plus your weight in the chair. Now you might have 600 pounds. All the weight will be on this wheel on the ground, which will give you good traction if you're in the grass. Uh, this is not made for the sand. It'll go in dirt, but hard dirt. But if you're in the grass and all that and you want to have a little bit of good traction on a front wheel drive where there's nothing holding the front wheel off the ground, you have a better traction. So now that we're going to talk about the seat. The seat on this chair is this is a called a floating cushion. What that means is you can remove it. You can put it's on Velcro. You can put your own cushion on here. There's hundreds of cushions you can put on here. This one here is actually a foam cushion with air in the back, so it's a, it's a half rojo and half foam. Right here, you can adjust the pressure. There's a valve right here, I don't know if you can see it or not. You can just pump through this valve air, which you'll get a small plastic pump with it. As a matter of fact, we do have one here. So you would take your little plastic pump, and you would put it on the valve, and you can pump in here the, what you want for thickness or softness where you're sitting. The seat is 18 inches by 20 deep, 18 by 20. So this chair is set up for a medium sized person, medium to small. Anybody, um, well you could be tall and slim also, but right now it's set up for a medium slim person. The back is about 16 to 17 inches wide, contoured back. You've got a safety belt right here. And this one is a retractable safety belt, just like you have in your car. So it's a little bit of a, it's an upgrade. This is a retractable seat belt right here on your seat. You've got an adjustable headrest. You've got hooks back here for your bag, which I mentioned earlier about the bag. You've got back here tie downs right here and right here. So if you need to tie this chair down to your lift, you can tie them here, here and here, and it tells you right there. And there's two more in the front. These cylinders here adjust the arm. If you watch the arm going down over there or going up, that's how you adjust the, the tilt on the arms. The turning radius on this chair, this would be your turning radius. Pretty much if I put a box in front of the chair and a box behind it, it'll turn in front of that. Now when you're in the house and you want to reset your legs and you want to bring your legs all the way under because you want to exit the chair, those legs will come down under the chair quite a bit. So they're all, well they're actually under the chair now. Then you can flip your foot plate and you have almost nothing in the front in your way. Let's see if we don't go back some more. So that's it. So when you drive the chair outside, make sure that, make sure that your foot plate is out 20-30%, which would mean about this much. That gives you a little more clearance under the foot plate in case you were to hit a sidewalk or a curb or something. You don't want to be jamming that electric foot plate into the chair. Okay? So that's that. So when you charge this chair, like all permobile, take your charger, plug it right here. 
And as soon as the light turns green on your charger, you're fully charged. You don't have to worry about overcharging your chair, because as soon as it's full, it'll stop charging. You can leave it on all night long, the light will be green, and if it loses power, it'll charge a little bit and stop again. So, if you're looking for a power chair that's not a huge power chair, it's a, it's a cross between a C500 and a C300, and between the two of them, a little bit smaller, more maneuverable, uh, just a little bit smaller, it's only 24 inches wide from here to here, 24 inches, so you need 24 inches to get through your doors. You need a chair with an 8 inch seat lift, electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs. You're going to get the tray with this one. The tray automatically will be with the chair. You're also going to get the traveling bag and the owner's manuals. Your traveling bag, your owner's manual, everything comes with the chair. This would be a really nice one to look at. And it, and it rides really good. When I ride it outside, I'll give you the speed that it goes when I'm outside with it. This would be a really nice one. And this one only has 12 miles. So, as I said at the beginning, it's practically new. So this chair goes four and a half miles an hour, so it's not the fastest chair in the world, but it's built for comfort. As I said, it has everything on it, it's fully loaded, ready to go, great ride, no problem in the grass. As I said, it's a front wheel drive, so it has no problem going through grass, it's good traction. 12 miles on this chair, so it's practically new. Um, this, is, this is a really nice one also. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We are a family-owned business for over 20 years. Thank you for watching this presentation. We have several other models available. If you have any questions, please call the number below, 800-677-6293. Thank you again for watching.